Good morning, friends and family in Jesus. Uh, welcome again here this morning. Um, a nice, cold, crisp morning. Uh, it's uh, ideal to sit in front of a fire uh, with the Bible and um, yeah, just go through the truth of the Word of God. Amen. Uh, this morning, I want to share with everyone a, a scripture in the book of Psalms, in Psalms chapter 34, if you want to uh, follow with me. And uh, concerning this that we have started off with um, in this week, you know, about going through some pain or some heartache or some disappointment, maybe some hum humiliation. Uh, I want to share this morning a beautiful uh, scripture and a beautiful promise in the Word of God. And this is a promise out of the, the, the heart and out of the mouth of Father God. I want to read it uh, with you this morning. It's a lengthy piece, but there's a lot of um, truth and, and a lot of uh, encouragement and motivation in this. So if you want to follow, we're going to be reading uh, Psalms 34 uh, from verse 1. The Bible says, I will extol the Lord at all time his praise will be on my lips i will glory in the lord let the afflicted hear and rejoice glory glorify the lord with me let us exalt his name together so this psalm of king david starts off with praising god amen we, we're going to see further on that uh, David is sitting in a rough situation here. But when he starts praying and when he starts speaking to his father in heaven, this is how he starts. He starts with uh, praising him and glorifying him. Irrelevant of the situation he's, he's sitting in. Verse 4, I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant their faces are never covered with shame this poor man called and the lord heard him he saved him out of his troubles the angel of the lord encamp around those who fear him so a lot of encouragement here from king david and it's amazing that he has been anointed as king by the Father. He, he is as rich as can be, but he calls himself a poor man. And why is he saying that? He's saying that, that be, because irrelevant of your status or your position on this earth, there comes a point in every person's life, even a king's life, where you are struck down. Um, mentally or spiritually by your enemies and then we are all on the same level we all feel poor we all feel inadequate we all feel um, insignificant and this is what he is talking about here so then the bible goes on in verse 8 taste and see that the lord is good blessed is the one who takes refuge in him fear the lord you his holy people for those who fear him lack nothing now again this fear uh, that the, the word is speaking about here in hebrew you bring it to english it means respect it it means reverence so fear the lord uh, verse 11 come my children listen to me i will teach you the fear or the respect of the lord um, whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days okay so if we love life and we see and and we desire to see many good days what must we do that's coming now keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies hallelujah and we're getting again like last week we're getting to the book of james um, watch what we say watch what we say uh, verse 14 turn from evil and do good 
excuse me, turn from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. So we are to pursue peace. When you pursue something, it is not only following, it is following in excess that nothing will stand before me or you, that we will just run over it. And then the Bible goes on, verse 15, the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil to blot out their name from the earth. Now, family in Jesus, concerning the pain and the hurt and the humiliation and the disgrace that we go through in our life, the Lord is going to, in these next two um, uh, sentences, give us a promise out of His heart. Verse 17, it says, The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. There we go. It doesn't say when the Lord will answer our prayers or how the Lord will answer our prayers. It gives us a promise saying the Lord does hear us. So, verse 17, the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from their troubles. Now, verse 18, I want you to take with everything inside of you this morning as a promise the lord is close to the brokenhearted he saves those who are crushed in spirit amen family in jesus what a beautiful beautiful promise this morning i don't even have to add anything more to that other than to say that if you are sitting in a position this morning where you feel broken hearted if you feel that your spirit is crushed this morning i want to say to you family in jesus brother in christ and sister in christ just take heart because a promise out of the heart of god is cemented in his everlasting word this morning saying that um that, that he will save you he will the the lord will save you the um, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. So if you are standing this morning and, and, and you are feeling absolutely crushed and, and you are feeling destroyed and you are feeling put down and stepped on and, and you're feeling that this is it now, just know that a promise out of the heart of God is that He is close to you and that he will never ever let you go and 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 he'll deliver you brother in christ and sister in christ there's going to come a time of relief there is it is not biblical that you will stay in a spiritually winter season the whole time you will get to a place where that season will pass and the lord will put you into a beautiful spring um season where it's it's flowering all over the place and and the lord will bless you with sunshine and 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 he will bless you with relief so i really want to encourage you this morning and again by that i'm i'm saying that i'm not standing in your shoes this morning so i can't pretend to know or to feel uh, what you are going through but what i do know is i have been in horrible seasons in my life as well and they passed and when they passed, the Lord brought relief, and He didn't only bring relief, He brought blessings, and He brought um, joy, and, and peace, and goodness, and kindness, and, and mercy, and grace, and, and the Lord brought His love. Um, not that His love isn't in the position we are sitting in when we feel crushed and broken. It's there. We just don't see it. So family in Jesus, take heart. Um, Stand firm this morning and know that somewhere you have a brother or sister in Christ that will stand with you, that will pray with you, that will intercede with you, that will push in and press through with you. So if you feel this morning that that is you, that's, that you are broken and that your spirit is maybe crushed, I want to invite you to pray with me right now. 
Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful, beautiful new day. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that irrelevant of where we are this morning, whether we feel crushed or whether we are standing firm and, and, and feeling uplifted this morning, Lord Jesus, we pray that as your word promises us that you will continue to be close to us, that you will continue to guide us, lead us and teach us. That we will know, Lord Jesus, that even though it doesn't feel in our minds like you are close to us, that we will know in our spirits that you promise that you are, Lord. I pray for those, Lord, that are really deep, deep in a time of pain or hurt or disappointment or humiliation right now, Lord Jesus, I pray that you will soon bring them relief. But then in that time, Lord, where they are waiting for you, like we said on, on, on Sunday, Lord, where they are, they are waiting in Jerusalem, in, in uh, uh, Jericho to be healed, Lord Jesus. I pray, please, Lord, that you'll bless them with your love and your comfort and your peace and your joy until that time will come where they can confidently stand up and know that everything is, is, uh, everything is in your hands, Lord. So we thank you for that, Father God. We pray and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, thank you, family and friends in Jesus. I, I hope that you have a blessed day today. Um, if you have time, uh, somewhere in, in today, um, sit down and spend time in the Word of God. It is the absolute best manual um, to life. Uh, any question that you have about life, the answer is in the Word of God. Any struggle or battle you are going through, I can guarantee you Jesus went through a similar one, if not worse. Um, and the answer to, uh, to that, to get out of that successfully, is in the Word of God. So, I pray that in this day you will be absolutely blessed. I pray that the Spirit of God will um, rain down a fresh anointing on you and, and that it will rest on you. That it will not leave you, it will rest there. Um, and I pray that you'll be blessed and successful and prosperous in everything that you do. Until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.